Hello, everyone. I'm going to talk about uh, learning beamforming in ultrasound imaging. So uh, how does ultrasound imaging work? So you have a probe of uh, piezoelectric sensors. You excite them with an electric pulse, and they, generate, uh, and they start vibrating. So they generate an acoustic wave, and it travels inside the tissue. So uh, and once, it get, once it travels inside, then you hear the echo back, and then you reconstruct your, your, you reconstruct your image back. And what we call as beamforming is basically focusing this wave on, onto a, uh, by using a superposition of uh, all the wave, uh, waves generated from each of, each of the sensors at certain point. For example, if you uh, look in this video, the red region is where the wave is focused. So you, if you see the signal that you receive in the bottom, it's, uh, it spikes only when uh, there's an object that's, that, that hits it. So in ultrasound imaging, uh, we always have this uh, transmit and receive switch. So essentially, you transmit, uh, you, you transmit one wave into one direction and then receive the response you get from it, and then you raster scan it throughout the sector. So as, uh, each, each one of these lines is limited by uh, the, the speed of sound because it can't travel faster than sound. And moreover, uh, as, the as, the trans as the number of transmit events increase, obviously the frame rate decreases uh, linearly, and the image quality image quality increases. But if you want to do high frame rate imaging, that is, if you want to do less TX events, because we can't, go, we can't surpass the speed of sound, so then uh, the frame rate increases. But as a result, our image quality decreases. For example, there are two standard ways of uh, doing such fast uh, high frame rate ultrasound imaging. One is called multi-line acquisition, where instead of focusing on a very small, uh, very narrow, re narrow band of uh, your sector, you focus on a rather wide part of your sector. And as a result, the image you get there is it looks blocky. It uh, it it doesn't uh, it doesn't look good. And another way of doing it is by focusing multiple focus beams onto uh, but onto different regions in the sector. So uh, what happens then is these beams interact with each other, and as a result, you don't have we lose the contrast as we see on the right side image. And these. Uh, uh, and fast ultrasound is important because we, we, it, is, it is essential for uh, imaging moving parts of the body which move faster than the frame rate of uh, the ultrasound. So in, in our previous work, what we did was we took, we took such uh, have highly fast frame rate acquired images, so as I showed you, using these both modalities, and we just uh, put, put them through a CNN after the time delays. Uh, and and we, we regress them to, uh, to predict the, the ideal SLA image that is focusing on uh, one line at once. And we showed that it, it performs uh, really well. Uh, and in this work, uh, we just trained uh, just a unit-like architecture which, uh, with the last depolarization layer, and, uh, and, and it works. So we get an ultrasound image. Uh, so now the question we ask ourselves is, Okay, we have these standard methods to simulate uh, this uh, to, to do fast ultrasound imaging, but what is the optimal thing to do? Like we don't know the MLA and MLT that I showed you are just uh, an arbitrary choice. Uh, what we, in this work, what we try to do is what is the optimal beam pattern to use to uh, to to reconstruct the same to reconstruct the uh, slow uh, the st the SLA image and at the same time. Uh, uh, with better quality, so we can uh, if we if we acquire ultrasound in the fi first harmonic mode, the forward model is fairly linear. It's a, it's a linear combination of the transmit beams that you acquire from a, s a slow ultrasound scan, and then we have this uh, dy uh, then we receive the signal and then we do dynamic focusing on it, which is implemented as a spatial transformer layer, and then we do we do the same thing as we did before. Uh, so, and the results are, uh, it performs significantly better. Yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah. So, more results in the paper and the poster. <laughs> so, in a nutshell, what, what I'm trying to say is, uh, if you have an active imaging pipeline, you should optimize both TX and RX together, uh, to both the acquisition and the reconstruction together. And this is the first time uh, we, we optimized any Harvard parameter in an ultrasound machine jointly with the network. And it opens many exciting directions. And uh, this is just, uh, we didn't implement it on a practical machine, but that is to be done. And we also showed it in other modalities that uh, designing, uh, uh, co-designing both acquisition and reconstruction uh, 
improves to uh, significantly better results. Thanks. Okay.